All right, guys, what's up? We're at it once again for the cam install. I just got to Ryan's. I got some new bolts, which I need to grab and make sure that they work this time. Make sure they work in the engine stand. Trucks, Carolina squad right now, because you know, Hemis are freaking heavy. All right, I grabbed some bolts from work. First things first, we're gonna make sure they even thread into the back of the block. I'm gonna be real pissed if these don't work. Oh, money. Okay, we got the motor on the engine stand. Now it's time to start pulling heads. Yeah, there's a lot of carbon in them. I mean, then again, though, we did scrub a lot into it. No, I. Are you I, saying like I brushed that off my? Finger, no. Like. Walls look good though. All right, pulled this head off. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one off. All right, here's the other side of the block. It's kind of crusty. It's not like Canadian crusty, but like iron block. For as clean as your truck was or is, someone else hot tank them or whatever. Okay, we took a little break. Went and dropped my heads off. Um, I'm gonna end up getting new plugs. I'm also gonna get new upstream O2 sensors. Larry said it'd be easier to tune with that kind of stuff. Uh, he also let me borrow his. Pulley or his puller for the balancer so we can get this off that way we can get the timing cover off and the cam out first thing I'm gonna I'm gonna take the lifters out because I'm really itching to see how these look because if you know Hemi's they can wipe they can wipe cams really fast and they can get lifter noise and I've had 150,000 miles I haven't had an issue I've been I think I've been hearing them like they got kind of loud this year so I'm, I'm just really curious to see what they look like. So I'm gonna pull the lifters out, see how the lifters look at least. And you can actually look, and then we'll look through and see if they can. Kind of get a little peek before we actually pull it out. Okay, so those eight lifters on that side were all good. I didn't, well, that I noticed right off the bat. This one right here, see if you guys can see it. Shine your light on this real quick. There's like a little white line, you guys can see it. There it is. You can see that one, the wear right there. And then this lifter. That's got some play in her. <laughs> Feel that. So yeah, now we're gonna go ahead and look at the cam.
This was, I don't want to say much easier, but. It there. Don't smoke your cranberry, it's pulling it out. Jeez. <laughs> the cam the cam core itself is so big on these. You gotta pick up and on it a little bit. Tilt it back. <laughs> she was stuck, man. Don't have magic touch. You know, the trick is not make, make as little noise as possible when putting cams in there. That looks weird right there. It does. That's pretty good there. What the heck? That's really weird. That bottom, the end. Yeah, I expected that to be. Yeah. Hard. That's why I was going so light. That spot was going away. <laughs> Where? Oh, yeah. You can feel it with your finger. Wow. Yeah, that spot was going away. Actually, that's the one with the dead lifter. Probably. With the dead needle bearings. You can see it starts as early as back here too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one was going out for sure. Yep, it we was pulled, definitely time. We pulled it just in time. I told you, it started getting this loud. This one here is looking funny too. Look. It was getting loud this year. It's kind of getting a... This year I started noticing yep, lifter this noise. This cam and, and lifters are smoked. <laughs> this year I started noticing lifter noise and it was time. We don't, don't look at the cam bearings. You don't look at them, it'll be all right. <laughs> Now we gotta clean this thing. It's all you. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, no, no. <laughs> all right. We are finally halfway with the mechanical portion. We still gotta clean and. <laughs> We're not even halfway. We gotta paint. clean a lot of stuff. <laughs> and all that good stuff. I am taking a break because I'm starting to look at my. I went outside. I saw my truck with the hood open, Carolina squatting with nothing in it. The hood's open. Yeah. I think the hood is closed now. No, it's open. I'm not sure why. Because yeah. we looked at our, we looked at it and then we came <laughs> back. I closed it that maybe I didn't, but. <laughs> and then not to mention this everywhere. Oh, this is a mess. <laughs> this is, um, yeah, like you said, a mess. It's a mess and a half, actually. Or did you show it? Yeah, we showed the cam lobe. Oh. It's time for a beer and kind of take it all in. I'm starting to get a little nervous because now, now everything after this, we can screw up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could have screwed up pulling it apart too. Yeah, like keep that one bearing in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you got. <laughs> that is all you. Dude, that like, it was, I don't know. That was, that was a little stuck, but. Oh. Yeah, so I'm gonna drink a beer and take a, Breather. All right, it's now a couple days later. I'm at my work right now. I brought some parts home uh, to clean. So we're gonna go ahead and clean the rockers and the shafts, uh, valve covers, timing cover, and oil pan. Um, gonna go ahead and clean that at work, and then we're gonna go back to Ryan's house and clean the block, get it ready to be prepped for paint. 
so it's a slow process especially because we only have a couple days or a couple hours after each day but that's what's got to happen so we're getting to it so as you can see there's not a lot of sludge built up in this and for 153,000 miles it looks pretty good in here So we're going to go ahead and clean it up good anyway, clean the pickup tube up. Today, just tonight, we're going to prep the block, uh, throw some rust stuff on it. Ryan knows what it is. It's like rust, probably break down the rust and stuff like that so that tomorrow, for us, we can prime it and paint it. What's the stuff we're going to throw on it? Rust? What? Oh, rust converter. It's a rust converter. What, to basically break it down? No, it turns like, you knock all the surface rust off it, and it turns it to like just inert metal. Mm. So it doesn't rust anymore further. It's called sun rust mort. It's like bare metal. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like. About as good as it's gonna get. Peel some tape. Oh, that looks so much cooler. Oh, that right? looks so much better, yeah. <laughs> okay, that looks way better. Way better. <laughs> Even though the paint job is meh. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, block is painted. Did a little touch up on it. Uh, it's been sitting for over 24 hours. Besides the parts we touched up. And of course, I got oil everywhere now from flipping it over, like literally everywhere. We are literally as far down as we can go. We're gonna go ahead and throw the cam in. My phaser lockout's being dropped off to me in a couple minutes. Throw the cam in. And basically get it all timed, get the oil pump on, get it timed, phaser, everything, throw the front cover on. That way it's pretty much ready for heads. And my heads might not, today for us it's Thursday, my heads might not be here until like Tuesday. So we might throw it in the truck, that way that part's done. And we, it'll be real easy, real small, real easy to throw in the truck. Might do that. That way when the heads come, we can just throw them on and then start assembling everything else. But we'll see first. We're gonna throw the cam in and get it timed. There oh, she is. Those lobes are really flat on top. <laughs> 228, 238. 113 and a half LSA. 113 and a half? Yeah. Oh, look at the lobe difference. Tomahawk. Okay. 
Don't make any noise. It's a heavy cam too. Damn it. This is that spot. Might need to wash my hands now and do this part. Okay, sorry, I couldn't I couldn't film the end there because it got stuck right here on like this big bearing. It's hard to hold the cam up and and you up. couldn't like there. wiggle it so we actually I need Ryan to do it and we tilted the motor and it kind of relieved some of the weight off of it and just push right in now as you can see it it's pretty free so it was just the weight of the cam was just not lining up with the bearing. it's a pretty big thing too so once you get it like once you get it to about here and you got that much left it didn't want to the cam's heavy you have no leverage <laughs> so yeah cam is in all right, next, after you torque down the plate, is the limiter kit. So first thing you're gonna wanna do. You showed that bolt, right? Cause there's a pen over here too. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna find the bolt that holds the spring, which would be this one. Right there. And just mark it so that you don't take that one all the way out. All right, so now that we got this pin marked, next thing you take the tool, and there's another pin right there. That one you have to take out. So you take this tool. It's just taking the tension off. It's just, yeah, it's taking the tension off the spring so that that pin can remove, and you push that down like that. All right, so then you just tighten it up so that the spring tension's off. You don't have to push, you don't have to tighten it up all the way, but just make sure that the tension's off the pin, which he says it is. Okay. Alright. Yeah, see they're pretty tight. Just <laughs> put the no one down there. Yeah, the no yeah, one's right okay. there. We you gotta, gotta you still gotta anyway. loosen, but you gotta just, just have to crack it. There we go. Okay. Pull that one out. That one has to go back in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one is another pin one, and that's got to go in the same spot you took it out, which is always, I mean, it depends on how you're looking at it, but it's always at least next to the, the no bolt. Just pay attention to what side. I mean, for reference here, if our no bolt's on the bottom, it's still left if you're looking at this mark on the phaser right there. All right. So after you loosened up your no bolt and you took all four <laughs> like of the other ones out. Literally only like not even half a turn. Took all right. four of the other ones out of your plate. Spin oh, it around. A lot of Did not spin it much. around. And here's your no bolt. Here's your tool. Your limiter or lockout, whichever one you're doing, will go right there. So this being a lockout one will completely stop it from turning at all. So then you tighten this up so that like when you put it in there, you could wiggle it side to side. Now you tighten it up so that that, that little bolt in there spread it out. Because basically what this does is when it phases, these fins here, these is, this is the max amount it can move this way. So when the cam is phasing, it's this, is, this part here is bolted to the camshaft and this part here is where the timing chain is. So these two parts can turn independently of each other. So when it applies oil pressure to one side or the other, it can push the cam this way or it can push it this way and that's how you get your cam that's how cam phaser works internally hence what vbt is yeah that's what our all variable valve timing is so then this obviously with a big cam will make it because the lobes are taller and if this phases 
Well, the you lobes have, are taller and your duration is different and your lobe separation angle is different. So it can put your cam into a place where you can touch valves and yeah, do all kinds of stuff you don't want to do. <laughs> and that's it. Put it back together and I'll tell you the torque specs here in a minute. Make sure this oh, yeah. pen goes in here where this tool is. Or you're going to have a bad day. Yep, so tighten them up, snug them up. And then torque spec for them is 14 foot pounds. Okay, well, after what you say, that was a good 45 minutes, probably. Yeah, it was, because I had a Snapchat when we started doing this, and I looked at the time, and it said 45 minutes later. Holy cow. So, this is the no bolt. That one obviously never came out. When we put these back in, the no bolt. this one, and obviously this one, because it was already in, this is the pin. These three this is went in. These two would not line up, and for the last 45 minutes, Ryan was messing with this thing trying to get we were trying to loosen this and tighten it we could not get these two to line up and i don't know what we did in the last 45 minutes i think we messed with this mostly i just kind of finessed it i think yeah you just kind of worked with it and magic, tried to magic fingers <laughs> twist it and whatever and this one went in and then we finally got that one in okay what you guys just missed <laughs> i didn't think i had to record torquing these bolts i know i'm like i'm watching the torque and i'm like 13.7, 13, 13.8, 13.7, 13.8, yeah. snap! <laughs> the torque spit. That's what's left of it. Snapped. And for a second I thought it was the bolt and I about had an aneurysm. <laughs> but we're good. It was just that. Even it, if it did and snap. And I was like, even when it was in there, I'm like, oh no, I just tipped it over and she fell right out. Even if we couldn't have got that out, it was at 13.8 foot pounds of torque. I think it would have been okay. Yeah, we would have sent that one for sure. Okay, well this is day, uh... <laughs> I lost count, honestly. We, we have some good torque spits now? Yeah. Okay. I brought mine, but I only got one. So if we go through that one, then we're toast again. I get, we're P25, right? Yeah. I get two. So, put the phaser on, put the chain on. I could do oil pump. Now we'll actually get somewhere. But first we need our T25s to not break. Then we can time it. All right, check them all. Now we can time this thing. Holding a cam forward and not on a low blow. I just did it a million times. You did it one time. No, I did it three times. There it is. Okay, now I need the chain. Okay, you got the chain on there. Um, this right here there's that you see that little line line on the teeth that's your timing mark for the phaser and then these two rectangles on the chain go on the top so you got two on the chain on the top and then you got one rectangle on the bottom it's ops of an ls ls you meet the marks in the middle hemi you time it two at the top one at the bottom. And these teeth uh, on the crank have a little dot right there as well. You match those up. And then these two surround the mark on the teeth. I did have to go and get a new cam bolt today. Um, I didn't know they were torqued to yield, and I found that out. So I just got it in there. That way it's just holding everything together. Got to put the new cam bolt in. Make sure the timing's right. Torque it, time it, get everything good. And then we'll start assembling parts and hopefully get it in the truck.
Okay. She's timed. Cam bolts torqued. Timed correctly. Oil pumps torqued. Tensioners torqued. Guides torqued. Threw the pan on. Torqued those just because we could. Oil pump tube into the fill into the uh, oil pump. Oil pickup tube into the oil pump. Now we're just gonna put the new crank seal in. Put the timing cover on. It'll actually look, yeah, it'll look like a freaking engine now.